August 5th, National Oyster Day. Now, oysters are something that I've only had once in my whole life. Last year I had my first one, and the only reason why I had it is because I was at La Berta Dan in the city, Eric Repair's restaurant, for the first time, and probably the only time <laughs> in my life, and when in Rome, that's what you do. Uh, and I kind of liked it. It wasn't uh, bad. I don't know. It's just I'm more of a, when it comes to clams and oysters and that kind of stuff, that kind of shellfish, uh, I prefer mine baked or fried, like fried clam strips. Who doesn't love fried clam strips? Or, you know, casino or oregano clams or whatever. Oysters is not something that I eat all the time or care to eat all the time as far as raw seafood. Um, so today what we're going to do is take uh, some Blue Point oysters and we're going to make Poe Boys sandwiches. I think I'm saying that right. Fried oyster Poe Boys. Uh, little ones, mini sliders uh, we're going to do. Um, because I don't mind. I'm thinking that a fried oyster is going to be like a fried clam strip. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but anyway, we've got some stuff to do first. We're going to make a nice uh, remoulade sauce for our sliders. And we're going to do that first because that's got to sit for like an hour in the fridge. And then we'll be back to fry our oysters. But here's what you need for our sauce. For our remoulade sauce today, we need a cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of minced cornichons, we need a tablespoon of nonpareil capers rinsed, a tablespoon of minced fresh flat leaf parsley, two teaspoons of minced tarragon, a teaspoon of spicy brown mustard, a half a teaspoon of anchovy paste, and one small garlic clove minced. All right, so let's make our sauce first. This is going to be really good because this is going to be something that I know you could probably put uh, on any fish, any kind of fried fish, even broiled fish would probably be great. Almost like a, a fancy, spicier tartar sauce, which would be really good. So you take your cup of mayonnaise, and then you take all of this stuff that I just told you you needed, and you put those in. Now, cornichons, I think I'm pronouncing that right, are basically like sweet gherkin pickles. I mean, they're those little pickles, and they taste kind of bread and butterish. Uh, so, interesting flavor. So that's almost like, you know, you would find in a tartar sauce. You'd find that little chunk of, like, if you make homemade tartar sauce, you use, like, pickled relish or something to do that, okay? You can use regular anchovies and mince them up really good if you want. I'm using the anchovy paste because I have it and I like the flavor of it more than the real anchovies. But anyway, and my mustard, my spicy brown, Golden's Spicy Brown is my favorite, and they now make a Sriracha Spicy Golden Brown Mustard, which is really good. It gives it a little extra heat on it, okay? So that's what I'm using today in that. Okay, so I'm just going to whisk all of this stuff together. And then this is going to go, like I said, in the fridge for about an hour, just because you want all these flavors to really meld together. I mean, it makes a beautiful tartar sauce, as you can see. And this is going to be great on our fried oyster sandwich. I'm hoping it is. Well, let's give it a taste and see. Oh, that's really good. It's got to sit, though, because I can tell all these flavors are really going to kick once it's sat for a little bit. Alrighty, so this goes in the fridge, and we'll get started on frying our oysters. Okay, so let's get to frying. So here's my going to be my coating for my oysters. Now, all it is, because I'm only doing four oysters that I'm frying, because I'm only making two little sliders, uh, you don't need a lot of stuff. If you're making a huge batch, a whole bunch for everybody, then obviously you just double or triple whatever I'm using here. I just put two tablespoons of cornmeal, two tablespoons of flour, there's some garlic powder, some basil, some thyme, cayenne, paprika, um, salt, pepper, actually I didn't even put salt in here, just fresh black pepper, um, because the remoulade is salty from the anchovy and the capers that you really don't need to add salt to this, okay? So you just mix all of this stuff together, okay, because that's going to be our coating for our oysters. But now you can add, you know, if you like, if you want to make it more Cajun, add some Cajun spices or Creole spices to this. That would be great too. One egg beaten. Okay, now here's my four oysters. Thankfully, the guy who was really nasty 
at the <laughs> at the fish market today. Shuck these for me, okay? So there's my oyster, okay? And what you're gonna do, I have my oil all ready to go. You're just gonna dip it in your egg batter, just like you would anything else. It's gonna be hard to handle because it's so slippery and slimy to begin with. And then into your breadcrumb mixture, okay? And that's it. So I'm gonna put that on the side because I wanna do all four of them at the same time so I can drop them in right away together. Okay, time to assemble and give our little sliders a go today. Here's our chilled tartar sauce or remoulade that we made. Okay, so we're going to put a nice amount of this. I have little slider rolls here. I bought the, you know, the sweet Hawaiian kind just to, again, add different elements of flavors into this whole thing. So I put a little bit of the remoulade on the top. And then what I'm going to do, I have some shredded lettuce here. Now I grow my own lettuce here, a couple different kinds. So this is just a regular lettuce, like a, a bib lettuce. And I also grow uh, mescaline greens, and the variety I use is a spicy mex uh, mescaline green. So when you eat it, at the, on the finish of the lettuce, you get like this peppery taste. So that's both lettuces mixed in here. I just julienne them and chopped them up. I figured that spicy pepperiness will go really good with this, okay? Then you're going to put your oysters. Okay, so let's take a big one and a small one, just so it's evenly distributed on our sandwich here. Okay, I'm going to slice a tomato. And then, you know, I'll put a little bit more of this just to add that glue factor. Okay? Maybe not too much. We don't want to taste nothing but that. I mean, we want to taste the oyster. It is oyster day. Okay? And there you go. There's our little po' boys. So, we'll be right back to sit down and give this one a try. Okay, so let's give this uh, fried oyster po' boy a try and see. Like I said, I'm hoping it's going to be kind of like a fried clam, so. Really tasty. You get a great flavor from the tartar sauce and, yeah, tastes like a fried clam sandwich. A really good fried clam sandwich. <laughs> yeah, if you're like me and you're not crazy about necessarily the raw um, oysters and mussels and clams and all that stuff, there's no reason why you can't fry a couple of oysters and make a nice sandwich out of it. Okay, especially if you like clam strips too, which I do. Alright, gonna eat my po' boys and we'll see you tomorrow. I hope it's another dinner thing. I think it is. I think we got more savories. We're off of the sweets for a couple days. <laughs> See you tomorrow.